dawn of new day. Let's check our mail. Uh. Oh yeah, we never we never did a uh, message shining finger back, so she's probably pissed off at us. That's. I don't think any of that's changed. Okay, so this is all new. Moeka here. Are you a student, Okabe-kun? Are you on summer break, Moeka? Are you a day person or a night person? If you'd rather I email you around a certain time, let me know. I want you to reply as soon as you can, but I don't want to be a bother, so let me know, okay, Moeka? Wait, what? 10.09. Wait, no, no, no. 809-847-914. By the way, I don't like talking on the phone, so please don't call me. Bye-bye, Muika. 952. I just remembered. I didn't tell you my phone number. That's okay. I'm a lot more comfortable communicating by email anyway. What about you, Kapikun, Muika? Uh, 328 AM. Are you still asleep? Rise and shine. Have you talked to the super hacker yet? Oh, I'd also like to hear more about John what his face. I'm super curious, Moika. 328. 3.36 AM. I'm nocturnal, so I usually don't go to bed until the sun comes up. It's not so bad once you get used to it. Mail me when you wake up, okay? Can I... I can't mail her. Okay. Actually, it's already noon. We didn't sleep at all. Sleep deprivation makes the summer sun seem all the brighter. I really don't want to go outside, but I'm fed up with the humidity inside the lab. I chug a bottle of Dr. Pepper. My stomach protests. Maybe I drank too fast. Oh man, I love drinking soda first thing in the morning. I'm exhausted. My hands are shaking slightly and my vision is cloudy. I could pass out if I'm not careful. Maybe I should take a shower. That should stave off ex exhaustion, if only temporarily. This building has a basic shower room. There's no brain, there's no bath, but it's enough. The lab would be hell without it. Daru's at his computer, his back turned towards me. His right leg is bouncing impatiently. The room is mostly silent, save for the electric fans humming and Daru's mouse clicks. Daru doesn't look my way, and he doesn't try to start a conversation. Neither do I, I don't have the energy. I suppose to try to do my... Email then? I don't know. Outside is a summer, sunny summer afternoon. Inside, the air is stale and empty of life. Yesterday, that shocking experiment convinced me that the phone wave, named subject to change, was also a time machine. But Kurisu didn't seem willing to accept the results. She started screaming. Then she took a mad dash out of the lab. It was like she couldn't get out of here fast enough. As for Mayuri, she was depressed about her chicken and bananas, so she skipped her daily costume sewing and went home. Grudges over food run deep, I guess. No, that's true if you're hungry. Which leaves the lab empty, save for Daru and me. Our enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that the phone wave, name subject to change, had tremendous hidden potential. We nearly died of excitement after successfully sending an email to the past. So we stayed up all night doing experiments to confirm whether or not the phone wave, named subject to change, is indeed a time machine. The results, however, we went to the supermarket and stocked up on a wide variety of items. We tossed each of them into the phone wave, named subject to change, but everything failed, no change, nothing happened. After the experiment, where the discharge phenomenon occurred, everything warmed up normally, no jellification. Suddenly, we couldn't get anything to happen. We still have no idea why. First, 
Let's review the problems revealed by the last run of the experiments. Problem 1. Electrical discharge safety precautions. We, re we removed everything flammable from the development room to reduce the risk of fire. We also prepared two fire buckets full of water just in case. But that's not a fundamental solution. Yeah, that's just a way to bypass the danger. I will not bypass, but to maintain it. We'll keep an eye out from now on, but if things get dangerous, we should seriously consider relocating our experiments. Problem 2. Mass increase. When a discharge phenomenon occurs, the phone wave, named subject to change, suddenly gains mass from for unknown reasons. Because of this, the microwave broke the table and made a dent in the floor. To deal with the issue, we place the microwave on the floor. We spread cushions and blankets underneath. This hides the hole in the floor too. It's only a temporary fix though. If we make any more holes, Mr. Braun is quite capable of raising my rent. And that's to say nothing of the calamity it will cause if it falls through the floor. Anyway, we need to find the source of the mass increase. If amateurs like us even can, that is. But the first two problems pale before the third. Was it recreating it? This last problem is critical. Until we solve it, we can't even really experiment with the phone wave named subject to change. Problem 3. We're not even sure of the necessary conditions to send email to the past. No matter how many times we tried, we couldn't pin down a single condi condition. We spent the entire night doing trial and error. We tried over 40 different things, but not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. I had the idea that opening the microwave door was the key. The theory was proven false. I got covered with microwave radiation. There might be something else I'm missing, but for now, we're at, at a impasse. We start off in high spirits, but grew more and more frustrated as time regressed. Which brings us to the present. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing about like this. Another email pops up on my phone. It's probably Moeka. Yep. Okay, so she did go to bed, I guess. Did she just wake up? You sleep too much. I haven't got a reply yet. Are you still asleep? You sleep too much. Oh, copy. Good. You're living like an old man. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. Anyway, let me know when you have something on the IBM 5100. Pretty please, Moeka. It won't let me email her. I've been getting way too many of these since yesterday. They're all from Shining Finger, the woman called Kiryu Moeka. Can I email her now? I really don't know what the trigger is. I've never used email this often before. Even Mayuri only sends me one or two a day, and she's a teenage girl. Frankly, this is starting to get on my nerves. I saw how fast Shining Finger typed. That should have been enough to tip me off that she was a male demon. I was careless. It's too much of a pain to reply, so I ignore it. No! Just re damn it. I finished off my bottle of Dr. Pepper. My stomach gurgles. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. My Yishi's spending money is getting dangerously low. You and Dara need to chip in too sometimes. You don't want to get between me and my food. Sorry. Can we apologize to her? Am I just not... Am I just not hitting the right key? Oh, maybe I have to do left trigger? Nope. I'm so hungry, I don't even feel like showering. 
I call out to Dari, who's hammering on the keyboard. Nah. <laughs> what is doing on the computer any what is he doing on the computer anyway? I'm curious, so I casually peek over his shoulder, that's the translation mistake. There's an image of a futuristic looking facility I've never seen before. Richly colored cords crawl through a gigantic octagonal tunnel, like the interior of a spaceship from a sci-fi movie. Based on the height of the people in the picture, there's only one person, the tunnel looked to be more than 10 meters tall. Incidentally, the people don't look Japanese. Dario sighs heartily. I don't know if the blank look in his eyes from sleepiness, exhaustion, or if something is just wrong with him. <laughs> but he's, uh, looking up CERN. Large hardon, Hydron. That's not Hardon. Kal Kaliand. Oh, it's meant to be misspelled. Is that an incantation? No, a secret technique? I grabbed Darby's relaxed shoulders and wring them out. セルン。その施設の実験装置。略称は工場や高速道路の高架下がたまらないとか言っていたな。そうそう、あれと一緒。節操が Not skip. No, not auto. Yeah, I don't know. And yet, you'll do anything to the void things that don't interest you, あ、ジョンタイター。オカリンが言ってたのって今アットチェンで祭りになってるやつのことだったんだな。それは偽物であ I don't remember all of it, but there's one thing I'm sure of. タイタンはこんな予言を残した。すなわち、2034年までにセルンがタイムマシンを完成させるとか。おお、タイムマシン。まさにタイムリーな話題じゃん。でもそれって10年前じゃなくて、今のタイタンも言ってた気がする。10年
vigor returns to my body. Curiosity truly is the greatest delicacy for mad scientists like me. Anyway, the phone wave, name subject to change, experiment, has hit a dead end for now, so it shouldn't matter if I make a little detour for this. Okay. Daru strikes his keys with a renewed passion. He goes to the My Pictures folder and opens a folder literally called CERN. ソリューシ原子核研究機構みたいな通称で呼ばれることもある。スイスとフランスの国境近く、ジュネーブ郊外にあってさ、古いところだと、HTML やHTTPワールドワイドウェブを生み出したところってんで有名。ワールドワイド
何根拠だとそうだなあえて言えばささやくのだよ俺のマッドサイエンティストとしての直感がなやつらは世界を滅ぼそうとしているああミニブラックホールによってだだがもしもその技術を俺たちが横取りすることができたらどうかなゲートの選択だよエルプサイコングレイ。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、そこは全てを組んでにやりと笑うのだでないとスーパーハカーらしくないだろうが I waited for him to say something like well why the hell not so what's in it for me and then we continue like this grinning slyly the whole time me a week's worth of potato chips Daru? 10 days、mm, you sure are a glutton a dive makes you a hungry man Deal, get started. You got it, boss. Or something like that. Yep, a real cool conversation. The real world Dari just purchases his lips. Work with me here. あとは分かるな。いや、全然。セルに、ハッキングしろ。ダーリー stares at me in disbelief。それはひょっとして、ギャグで言っているのか誰お前ならできる。やつらの悪事を暴き、タイムマシーンについてのヒントを手に入れろ。悪事ってオカリンの妄想だろう電話レンジカッコカリをタイムマシンとして使えるようにするかこのままただのダサクとしてラブの倉庫で眠らせることになるか今が分岐点だマジで言ってんの俺はいつでもマジである I look Daru straight in the eye as I answer Looks like that made him understand my position. Dari sweeps the garbage off his desk and sits up straight. I'm not responsible for the consequences, got it? Suddenly, Dari is bursting with energy. It's like his earlier lethargy was a lie. かかうはみなぎってきた報酬のポテチ1週間分はスイスの銀行に振り込んでおくダーリー doesn't respond he's already deep in concentration じゃあ俺は寝るあとは任せた It's noon we're gonna sleep I lay down on the sofa and let the clacking of Dari's keyboard lull me to sleep. I wake up to the twilight sun streaming in through the window and I got, I've got mail! Paris, original sun level rising 280%. Kyoma? When operating in the mundane world, you're supposed to be discreet, yeah? You don't want them to notice you, remember? The summoning has taken 2,000 years to prepare. If it fails, everything will be ruined. Although, I suppose that might make things interesting. Yeah, haha. -ha. Can I email anybody? No. 
A refreshing breeze blows in, softly brushing my cheek. Dar is exactly where I left him before I fell asleep. He's sitting in the exactly same position. Not much has changed besides his typing speed. Oh, and now he's muttering to himself. I guess he hasn't had any real success at hacking yet. I look around the room, but I can't find Myri. Maybe she's not coming today. I guess food-related grudges really do run deep. I stand up to stretch. I don't want to bother Dari, so I don't say anything to him. I take a cold Dr. Pepper out of the fridge and quench my thirst. Then I throw myself back down to the sofa and start browsing at channel on my phone. And what perfect timing! Hatter is currently posting in the thread. The Everett Wheeler model is correct. Please look it up to learn more. It seems you're also clinging to the preconceived notions of time. Time does not simply run from past to future like a car on a one-way street. To be more specific, the laws of causality do not allow contradictions to occur. As a result of an event, the effect is changed. The event itself, the cause, also changes to prevent a paradox. That's why there are so few people who can serve changes and divergence. Divergent Divergence being the world lies percent difference from the standard. Die, troll. You claim to be a time traveler without any proof. Stock trends, please. I'm counting on you, Mr. Time Traveler. If you can't observe changes and divergence, then how can you possibly measure it? Oh, I know. Your time machine has a magical device that measures it for you. Oh, and you still haven't explained how a research institution conquers the world details blocks. Oh, no. Humanity is doomed. Hello, noobs, responding seriously to tr tr troll thread? This tighter guy is a shitty troll. Don't you people have anything to offer besides insults? How about contributing to the discussion, plebeian scum? If you see that time doesn't flow in a straight line, then the idea of time travel is much easier to swallow. In such a scenario, a time machine traveling through the past doesn't need a fight against the flow of time. I say tighter's points have merit. By the way, tighter. I like to. I'd like like to know more about CERN. I'd like like to know. Okay. What can you tell us about their current activities? Tell me which horse wins the next Emperor's Cup. I'll bet my entire life savings. Everett Wheeler model equals many worlds interpretation. Basically, that means parallel worlds. What's with all these stupid name tags? This Ho and Kuyoma is more annoying than Titer. You call yourself John Titer, but you're fluent in Japanese. Writing in English would be at least would at least make it seem more realistic. You can't do English, can you? Can I ask you a favor, Titer san? My mom died last year in the Shibuya earthquake. If I stop my mom from leaving home, then I can undo her death. So please lend me your time machine. You're gonna believe this time traveler without proof? Are you an idiot? No one seems particularly interested in what I said about time not flowing in a single direction. There's proof that that's proof that your preconceptions are deeply ingrained. Honestly, it bothers me that you simply accept that as the truth. <coughs> I'm starting to understand why CERN was able to make, take over so easily. Whenever a major event causes divergence to change, the timeline is reconstructed to prevent paradoxes from occurring. For example, let's say that a major event causes this world line to diverge into a new world, new world line called World Line B. On World Line B, I'm afraid to say, at channel never existed. As the timeline is reconstructed, all of your memories of reading and posting on at channel will dis disappear to, re uh, to be replaced by memories of you doing something else. In other words, by changing the present, you change the past. I read about CERN yesterday. The only other thing I can say is that you must not believe their lies. They have already succeeded at creating micro black holes. I desire only to quench my intellectual thirst. I like you closed minded fools. I, res I will reserve judgment until after I've heard what Titer has to say. And then I will make contact with Titer and acquire his time machine for myself. The great bad scientist, Ho Ho and Kyoma, will have the last laugh. Suck it, sleazebags. Tell me stock prices or fucking die. I won't believe until you tell me. That's not reconstructing the world, you idiot. That's altering people's memories. Who the hell can alter the memories of nearly 6.7 billion people? Do you realize how stupid that sounds? I think I would have noticed if someone went and screwed with my brain. And what does any of that have to do with the many worlds interpretation? Do some research. Wait, the future's a wasteland. That means I could be a road warrior and ride a mod buggy, right? I'm gonna get a mohawk. 
Anyone know where I could buy a spike shoulder pads? I checked CERN's homepage. It says they've been experimenting since 2009. Can they really make black holes? What the hell's gonna happen? Does Titer have a, have a mohawk? God, that's fucking moey. Are you implying our brains make the world? Are you saying the universe is a giant tree and we're branches or something? That's some EVA level bullshit right there. Go back to 2036. Is this how you reply to a specific person? Thank you for showing me. Reconstructing, reconstruction of the timeline and alteration of people's memories. I think they're essentially the same thing. Why are you so intent on saying they're different? With a few exceptions, nobody can keep their memories across world lines. They are reconstructed along with everything else when divergence changes. What's a red warrior? I'm immersed in a heated internet argument when an unfamiliar voice interrupts me. The door opens and a girl peeks inside. I recognize her. It's a girl I met yesterday at the Braun Tube workshop. When our eyes meet, she smiles. Dari's typing gets even faster. Looks like he's in the zone. It would be a bad idea to disturb him with our voices. I nod to the girl and hurry outside. Um, what was this girl's name again? I think it was called um, Ar Aruma or Amore. Oh right, Amani. Amani Suzuha.君たちって何してる人前も言ったはずだ。俺たちの秘密に踏み込めば貴様も危険に巻き込まれる可能性があると。未来ガジェット研究所って呼んだよね。どうなぜ知っている。俺は説明した覚えはないぞ。まさか
This tire is mostly clean. It's probably new. It looks pretty fast, but whose is it? Suzuha opens the Bronte workshop door with a wry smile. Reconnoiter? Now there's a word you don't hear in casual conversation. I'm pretty sure it means to perform reconnaissance, to scout an area and gather intelligence. Is she some kind of secret agent? I follow Suzuha into the store. Damn, we were careless. Looks like we need to close the window when we discuss sensitive matters from now on. But if we do that, the lab would turn to a scorching hell. Damn. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. <laughs> Or else men in black will raid us. Suzuha grins and thumps her chest confidently. All is quiet inside the Braun Tube workshop. That gigantic TV isn't on. Mr. Braun's not here either. You probably want to see the chipmunk. He disappears during the business hours every now and then. Whenever I ask him where he's going, he always says something like, I'm picking my beloved daughter up from school, or my beloved daughter has a cold with a huge grin on his face. He dotes on her too much. It probably just annoys her. Anyway, just how irresponsible can you be to neglect work to see your daughter? He used to put a back soon sign on the door whenever he left, but now he has Suzuha to take care of things while he's gone. Suzuha lightly taps the TV on the counter. Damn, manager. I bet he gave it to us just so he could charge repair fees. I don't think he's strong enough to carry that upstairs. I reluctantly take a bill out of my wallet and hand it to Suzuha. But 10 bucks to fix the TV? That's so cheap. She takes out a receipt. Apparently, it was already written out. Don't you know it takes 10 times more effort to go upstairs than down? Defying gravity is no easy task, woman. Alright, let's check our mail. The Kako. That's the uh, shrine priestess boy. I made sweets. I baked cookies today. I had everyone in my family eat some and got their seal of approval. Would it be okay if I baked some for your lab friend, masters? Oh. It would be great if you could teach me some more uh, techniques with Samadari whenever you have time. P.S. I matched 10 practice wings today. want to email him back? Can I... Oh wait. Well done. We warmly welcome your refreshments. In fact, you can come cook for us every day if you want. I'll even provide you with a maid uniform. That's how you reply. There's that, like, hi. Okay. Damn. We missed a lot of uh, emails. She mutters, her tone pensive. How sarcastic of her. Damn. <laughs> 
貴様のような女子に手伝ってもらうことなどこの俺のプライドが許さんわあアプラーズ今の男らしいじゃん私惚れちゃったもんあーだけはクだまされるものか貴様嘘をついているのあだけはクそれはこの俺の能力の一つカラオリン・ジェントルメンが反応してた能力スーザーは、ああ、パップ、でも、クリアしたら、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、いるわけがなかろうこの俺がスペシャルなのだ I thrust my chest out as far as possible to display my majesty After muttering some nonsense to herself, she finally nods an understanding. What the hell is she talking about? Is she a survival game otaku? No, wait, don't tell me. Miss Gorgo to you called the name of the Yobar Tirado. Darany Atorita. Eh, Darany Moyatorit and I see. Tayoko Gorgo Tenani. She's trying to gloss things over with an insincere smile. Her confusion is suspicious. That reminds me, I think I remember her saying some awfully disturbing things when we first met yesterday. Burning tension runs between us. Our eyes meet, invisible sparks scatter. <sighs> oh, shiny finger. A copy can. I want you to reply to me already. I've been waiting, you know. And please tell me. The super hacker's address when you can. If we don't get cracking, someone else might get to the IBM 5100 first. Okay, so this one doesn't have any like highlighted things, so I guess I can't respond to her. And then the email arrives to break the stalemate. I turn my attention away from Suzaha. This ringtone is starting to piss me off. Can I respond to it now, please? Nope. I need to change the ringtone. Is most likely from that male demon sh <coughs> shining finger. I could tell without even checking. <sighs> this is getting ridiculous. She's got some stalker qualities and maybe split personalities. I shouldn't have given her my address. Just respond to her. Can we not respond to any of these anymore? Yeah, I think we. Yeah, we missed the timing window. I look at Suza and see her lying on the counter. She's playing with something in the palm of her hand. Looks like a small metal pin. 
Anyway, how can she be this lazy on her second day? I love CRTs. Was a lie too, wasn't it? She was just wondering if I got a death notice? How could she say that with a straight face? And what the hell is a death notice anyway? Do those even exist? This girl is hard to get a handle on. I really shouldn't let her, my guard down around her. Suzaha leaps up as soon as I speak. Maybe that retro PC is more popular with female otakus than I thought. あ、キバリはなかったという落ちは知っている。そっか。それはそうだよね。あ、suspicious。何か知っている唇だな。え、いや、知ってるような、知ってないようなって感じかな。私は知らないけど、遠い知り合いが知ってて、それをちらっと
失われたプログラミング言語があったりするんだよ The reason Titer traveled back to 1975 was to obtain an IBM 5100 because he needed that function. Maybe Moeke wants to use it too. Nope. Or maybe not. Shiny Finger doesn't seem like the type who knew about that sort of function. While talking, Suza keeps dropping her glance to the metal pin in her hand. She rolls it around with her fingers. I guess that's a habit of hers. So, IBM 5100s are super rare. Maybe if I get one, I can sell it for a high price. That could be a good way to raise research funds. But first, I have to deal with CERN. Yay, back to the message board. Life in 2036 is very different from what it is today. Most people live on farms growing their own food. All forms of commerce and communication are restricted. There's no travel, no internet, no railroad, even. Most people never see another town, let alone a city. Science continues to advance, of course, but the vast majority of people do not benefit from that progress. Technology belongs only to those chosen by CERN and the Committee of 300. It's very peaceful. At least on the surface. There's none of the conflict you see in this era. There's no war. How is that possible? How does CERN resolve the situation in the Middle East? What have you got against world peace? Sounds to me like CERN is doing humanity a favor. This Titer guy stole a time machine from CERN, didn't he? He's the bad guy here. Die in a fire, terrorist scum. The role in 2030 and 2036 is governed by CERN. All nations, even America, have disbanded their armies. To put it simply, civilization has returned to an 18th century level of technology and exists under a communist system of government. Except now that system works flawlessly. Right now, you should be asking yourselves how that is possible. How does a system of government that collapsed in the 20th century exist without any discontent? The answer to that question is the reason I am here. Yes, I am a terrorist. There are others like me who fight against CERN. We think of ourselves as a resistance, but there is no denying that our actions are a kind of terrorism. Anyway, I want to hear more about that many worlds interpretation you said has been proven by 2036. How? I knew you were a terrorist. How many of you murdered? What if my kids are among them? Maybe I really should kill your father. Protect the future. Stop beating around the bush. Give us answers. You're one of those old men who participate in the student riots, aren't you? Filled your head with a bunch of bullshit and now you can't tell fact from fiction, am I right? Delicious nationalist tears. Stern probably figured it out. They've got a time machine to experiment with, right? That would make you no better than Titer if you're willing to face the consequences and go right ahead. Titer's question, did World War III take place as scheduled? Uh, why did you come to this particular time? Did you find an IBM 5100? Is John Titer plugging for the commies? I thought they went out of style years ago. I thought this Tiger guy was crazy, but this ho ho guy is even crazier. Get a room, guys. World War III. And then there's supposed to be an IBM 5100 in Akiba. As I've already explained, my goal this time is to change the future. I'm posting here to warn you of what's going to happen. Perhaps, meaningly, perhaps convergence will render my efforts meaningless. But if even one person pays attention, that's enough. World War III? Is that something I said on a different world line? I'd like to talk to you in private. Please e email me when you have time. Of course, if anyone else would also like to email me, feel free. Serious inquiries only, please. All I've been getting is hate mail. Here's my address one more, once more. Can we save that address? Oh, we got it. Twenty hours have passed since Dario started hacking. Night gives way to a refreshing summer morning. I glance at Dario while browsing that channel on my phone. He's fidgeting even more. Now his legs are like pistons. And his knees move up and down in harmony with the rat-tat-tat of his keyboard. Dario hasn't slept in about 40 hours, but he still won't get off the computer. 
I was going to ask him if he'd like a break, but his entire body is exuding an aura that says, don't talk to me. I crawl up a bit and return to my phone. My discussion with John Titer just aren't making sense. Not even Titer himself seems to know about the Titer from 10 years ago. It's hard to imagine that everyone at At Channel is conspiring against me. But how else can I explain it? Out of options, I decided to email Titer directly just as he told me to. He audaciously exposed his own address on Ad Channel. I guess that's his way of saying, bring it on. In my email, I questioned the differences between his post now and his post 10 years ago. The current Titer hasn't even acknowledged the latter. I only vaguely remember them, but they basically went like this. In 2015, World War III breaks out. Many people die. By 2036, the world's a nuclear wasteland. John Titer travels to 1975 to obtain an IBM 5100. The IBM 5100 was necessary to revive technology lost in World War III. The IBM 5100 has a hidden functionality. The ability to read IBM's proprietary computer language, which predates APL and BASIC. But only certain IBM engineers are aware of that function, so it does not appear in the manual. In 1998, Titer meets his younger self and his parents in America. John Titer was a soldier who volunteered for this mission. John Titer is an American. Furthermore, in 2000, Titer correctly predicted the outcome of some future events. The Peruvian Coast Earthquake in 2001, the election of a new pope, the outbreak of the Iraq War, China's advances in space and so forth. Though he only talked vaguely about each one, they all came true. On the other hand, other predictions went unfulfilled. For example, the Y2K bug, civil war in America, the cancellation of the Beijing Olympics, the inauguration of the America's first female president in 2009, and so forth. There's more, but let's leave those aside for now. I'm going to ask him why those predictions didn't come true. I'm not going to bother reading that. It's just a bullet list of what we just what we just read. All right, let's send it now. If you can't answer to my satisfaction, then the current Titer is an imposter. This is your litmus test, John Titer. So, what are your true colors? Myri comes in. Looks like she's forgiven us for experimenting on her feet. She's back to her usual smiley self. Though to be accurate, it wasn't too nice in a row. I took an afternoon nap yesterday. Myri starts fishing through her convenience store bag, and then she takes out. The canned Odin is still warm when she gives it to me. I open the lid right away and eat the beef. Myri and I have been together. Myri and I have been together for a long time, uh, so she knows what I like. And when it comes to canned Odin, beef is where it's at. Uh, I consider her saying uh, you'll get fat if you only eat frozen foods, but that threat's not very effective against Myri, so I hold my tongue. Her high metabolism prevents her from getting fat, no matter how much she eats. Uh, 
That's a keeper. What the fuck is this? She, next, she produces a small box with a Rynet il illustration. Is this like a toy? She sticks out her tongue with a shy giggle. Something tells me that in a few months' time, this lab will be neck deep in Upa goods. There are only a few things right now, like the cushion on the sofa, but that number is sure to grow exponentially. An empty diet of cola bottles? Oh, an empty diet cola bottle, bottle comes whistling through the air. It hits my head with a nice thunk. Myri and I evacuate to a corner of the lounge and quietly eat the Odin. This is Amane Suzuha first email. Thanks for exchanging email addresses with me yesterday. I finally made a friend here. Yay, don't worry. I won't email you too much. I may be slow to reply to you. I'm kind of new at this email thing. It's okay to laugh at me. Oh, you can. Re okay, so our reply could be any one of these. Okay, I see how it works. That's a friendly one. Where were you living before? That seems kind of friendly. Haven't used this. is a little insulting. This is rude. Go with the, the friendly one. Where were you living before? Incidentally, it looks like the hackers hijacked certain system back in 2008. We found news articles about it online. That means even the ventures of the World Wide Web have holes in their security. With his skills, Darush should have no trouble getting it through. <laughs> Hmm, that's unusual. Myri usually just accepts whatever I say. Well, I admit it, we are doing a bad thing. But there's no way we can stop now. I need to change the subject. With that said, I skewer the chikawa and put it in Myri's can. And I get her beef in return. Subject change complete. Myri really eats up conver conversations about food. It's so easy to manipulate her. Wahaha ha ha. <laughs> Oh, 
Garu has started talking to himself. He's writing a SQL query. Select user ID from users. So generic. Looks like things are falling into place. I feel like he would already need a user ID to access the, the database and who would store user IDs and passwords in clear text like that. Dari really is a super hacker. I think this is the first time I've seen him serious. Dari bends himself forward, staring holes into the screen. But all I see on the screen is the same string of numbers and letters. Oh ho! Chita chita chita! Yo yo! Ora, kanen shite ore no mai ni zenbu sarashi agare tsu no! Spadaka ni sarete ru kibun wa dou da yo! Ya! <laughs> His eyes are bloodshot, and he starts he started rambling. Maybe the lack of sleep is getting to him. Dario opens up a new window, types in a 12 character string, and slams the enter key. An error sound rings. He quickly deletes the string and enters in a new one. He's manually entering in. He keeps repeating that sequence until finally. Ooh! Kita, kita! ID to pass it to you! Login Namena! Yes, yes, yes! It's a brute force. That's very unsophisticated. But what enthusiasm. He just spent 40 hours or whatever on it. Why would someone from CERN be named Jack? Like, that seems so. Odd for as a Switz name. The smug bastard turns around with an expression of immense satisfaction, as if he's gone to a la petite mort, a small death. After 20 hours of agony, it's finally over. To show Daru my appreciation, I toss him an unopened Odin can. An Odin can is the best after a job well done. Really? It's like you connect to a company and then you gotta look through all the company for very specific information that's probably gonna be even secret within that company itself. Well, he should keep checking because they'll probably detect his intrusion and force a password change, so... After a short meal break, Dari taps on his keyboard more nimbly than before. セルのデータベースに入ってデータのテーブル一覧をゲットしたんよ。そっから1111111とか like that is such a rudimentary, rudimentary way of getting at things. So many holes. Uh, I don't know if that's true either. Well, 
まあサーバー管理者を特定してパスをゲットするのも時間の問題だけどそれはまた今度にするわさすがに眠くてあんま頭が働かん It's only matter it would take him forever to get a server admin password based on what he's done before It would be cruel to push Daru any further. It's unfortunate, but overworking him isn't an option. Let's let him rest so he can regain his energy. Oh, do ya, Tenny, the idea of Kasoki Bumon, Tanto Shana Monorashi, yo? Saba Kandisha Janai no Ka. It's better. If Pats de Aterunante, Kiseki de Mokina Kagi, Murida Tsuno, Seruni Nanni no Kankesha Ga Iruto, Motterundaze. That many? Ma Toriez, Kono Kasoki Bumon Tanto Shano, et Namaeva Jackson, the Melo no Rogu, Choroto Nozoka Setemurao. We saw that on the screenshot like a while back. And of course, the emails come in English. It's pathetic to flinch at the mere sight of English. Dario, what are you writing? If you don't write it, please ask the director to the director. You can't do so much work, right? Dario boots up translation software and auto-translates the open page. Poor, unnatural Japanese shows up. The first line says, Happy New Year! And Happy New Year to everyone watching. That email is normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, I guess that's possible. Mayuri gets depressed and moves away from the computer. She sits on the sofa and hugs her giant upa cushion with a sigh. I know we're doing something socially unacceptable. Wow. That is not the guy you want doing that. That's of no concern to me. You just sit there and pretend your hands are clean. Upon further examination, we discovered several emails with the title Experiment Report in English, naturally. Looks like he sent emails like these almost daily. LHC no jikken report ka. Time machine no hint ga erareru kamo shire. Hiraite miru beki daro. Kore mitara kakujitsu ni yaba sou da kedo na. That's what his lip says. Uh, but his hand still clicks on the email. What comes up is an unintelligibly series of symbols. Unintelligible series of symbols. It has to be a file attachment. Or encryption, yeah. No. It's called encryption for a reason. Nice super hacker. He is a genius, no doubt. Daru under undoes his security in less than 10 minutes. The real time sink and deciphering the crappy machine translation. 
、えっと、リアクセルと、はーい、ポール、そういう演技は無用だ、サイですか、今日付けの実験データをサーバーにアップしておいた。LHC の調子は良好だあくまで LHC はだが The experimental data data of today was improved to the server The condition of LHC is excellent though it is LHC to the end This fellow is obedient surprisingly like the cat though this fellow is capricious, capricious about this month I think that it may be this condition for a long time however do you not think That the work not rewarding can enlarge cat. Ha 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 ha. You know, it's probably the translation software. Koitsa <laughs> この人類史を塗り替える研究は一部の人間の目にしか入らないわけで。So, John Titor is right. They started in 2001. もっとも、公表されたらされたで、いい晒し者になるのがオチだろうがな。世の中の連中はきっとこういうだろうさ。今すぐロバート・セメキフをセルに呼んでください。そうすれば1年と経たないうちに作ってもらえるだろう。てな。9年I already finished his reading. I rub my temples with my thumbs. Calm down. Let's sort things out. Did Daru notice something unnatural too? He's not joking like he usually but does. LHC が稼働を開始したのは去年の春ぐらいだったはずだ。だがこのメールでは9年前から稼働していたと読み取れる。おかしいな。The email send date is this year 2010, so nine years ago makes it 2001. John, post, John Titer posted this on channel yesterday. The only other thing I can say is that you must not believe their lies. They have already succeeded at creating micro black holes. I gulp. If you read between the lines of this email, it sounds like they're doing some sort of secret experiment. Also, Robert Zemeckis is a super famous Hollywood movie director. Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis. He directed a trilogy of smash hit time travel movies around about 20 years ago. Okay, Back to the Future. Got it. I groan. No way. Was I right? CERN's hiding a major secret from the world that is related to time travel. I don't know if Dar is questioning my order of possi or the possibility that CERN might be researching time travel. Either way, he begins tapping on the keyboard again. どのメールにもタイムマシンって単語は出てこないけど Z プログラムって単語がこの数ヶ月で100箇所以上も使われてるこれ今 LHC を使ってやってる実験のことじゃねその具体的な内容はブラックホールの生成実験かえー、っとどっかに資料はお見つけた Dario opens a PDF attachment. Oh, like お前はハッキングで足がつくような無能なのか
そうならないようにはしてるだったら何も問題はないそりゃどうもダーリ makes a slightly awkward face as he takes the file about the Z program and feeds it into the translation software うん5月14日第137次 Z プログラム実験レポート Jellyman's report なおミニブラックホール生成ミッションはすでに確立しているため報告は省く第一にストップストップあらばさんタイトルスプレディクションズビカムアリアリやはりセルンは LHC を使ったミニブラックホール生成に成功していたのだ公式には実験はまだ成功してないって発表されてるのにな This is what Titer was referring to when he posted Don't believe what they say そもそも実験の目的は新しい素粒子反応を起こすことであってミニブラックホール生成じゃないし Daru doesn't take his wide eyes off the monitor だが実際にはすでにミニブラックホールは生成されているみたいだなその先には何と書いてあるえっ、ー、と実験結果エラーヒューマンイズデッドミスマッチ詳細は別紙ゼリーマンズレポートナンバー14を参照リフターの調整および各局所は適合地点をオンラインとして確定できない限り実験は停止するべきと提案するどどういう意味だヒューマンイズデッドって人が死んだって意味じゃねサンバディダイドセリスリーアグラウンド This isn't a joke anymore. Something very serious is going on here. Maybe we are in too deep. Hmm. What if we are alone? I'm not afraid, I'm not. After all, I am the same mad scientist, Ho and Kyoma. We can't stop now. I can't control my curiosity. Besides, now that I have proof of their evil deeds, ignoring it would just leave a bad taste in my mouth. My throat's gone dry. I swallow my saliva. In an attempt to keep whatever composure I can, I scold myself for being so faint. Zeriman's report. To you know, what? Dari starts typing once I ask my questions, but he still clicks his tongue. Hmm, Jackson's mail is not visible. After that, Dari spends about 15 minutes fishing through the accelerated division chief's email, but he doesn't find anything about time machines. 加速器技術委員会とか LHC 計画責任者とかって単語が出てきたからその辺の ID を検討をつけて探すかなそっちからならもっと突っ込んだ情報が手に入るかもしれんわな、okay. ジャックさんの ID では調べられないのかダーリーシェイクスヘッドでは今日のところはこれまでかちなみにさ今見てたのがセルンの一番でかいサーバーなんだけど実はもう一個妙なデータベースがあったんだよね妙というとバグってたバグいやバグっつうか一応プログラムのコードらしきものは出てくるんだけどもう意味不すぎてむちゃくちゃっつうか全くもって解読不能です本当にありがとうございましたっつうか Oh, maybe that's the、uh, that language that you need the IBN for. 
暗号化されている可能性はあれは暗号には見えないのだぜそもそもプログラムとして成立してないんだよねただそんな誰にも見られないようなデータベースが何で置いてあるのかは気になる気になるなちょっと解析してみるよダーリー tries every trick in the book to crack that mystery database after about an hour the piston he has、uh, for fingers began speeding up eventually he just slams the keyboard out of frustration ああわからん全然わからんこんなん絶対プログラムじゃねえよボケ死ぬカスがウェッキース Oh, great, he snapped. m a y r i puts down her sewing tools and turns to Dara with a worried look on her face. <laughs> This is bad. Dara is breaking down. Maybe I'm pushing him too far. He's been up two days straight. He's probably at his limit. もう休め、誰うわ、そうするわつうかさ、もしこれがバグじゃなくてガチでプログラムだとしても作ったやつにしかわからんよこんなん見たことないし A program unlike anything he's seen, huh? Why would there be kanji characters on the right? At that moment, music burst from my pocket. Now we got an email from John Titer. Are you being honest? Is everything you wrote, if everything you wrote is true, then we have a lot to talk about. Particularly concerning the IBM 5100's hidden fit functionality, which I have not mentioned to anybody yet. I am indeed surprised that you know about it. However, I have not gone to the year 2000, though it is, po it is possible I may go there later. There are three possible explanations. First, The John Titer who appeared in 2000 is my future self. In other words, I go to 2000 later and write about the things、uh, you have told me. That would cause you know, a chicken and egg paradox, wouldn't it? Second, you're delusional in making things up for the sake of serious discussion. Let's set this possibility aside. Third, you may have seen something I wrote on a different world line. That would mean that 10 years ago you existed on a different world line than the one we're on now. However, that raises another issue. When the world line changes, the entire timeline is reconstructed from the past to the future in order to prevent a paradox from occurring. That was proven in 2036. In other words, it should be impossible for you to retain memories of a pre previous world line, unless you too are a time traveler, that is. Do you have any idea what, can, what, could,、uh, what the cause could be? Well, apparently, we're going to be a time traveler. I gulp. A flash runs through my head like an electric shock. There's quite a bit of text, but what catches my eyes are the first several lines. So, I'm going to send it to the world. What is the name? m a y r i looks at me curiously, but I don't have time to answer her. I'm frantically assembling the pieces in my mind. These things are all connected. And now I have another piece of the puzzle. I shiver at my own brilliance. I aim my phone's camera at the screen displaying the supposedly bugged data and take a picture. I attach it to a message. Does this code look familiar? And send it to Titer. A mysterious database? He, he didn't even take that much code. It's all in friggin'、um, hex format. That's like barely any lines of code. Mysterious database inside CERN, a program unlike anything super hackier Daru has ever seen. Its true form is. Kinda of curious how he sent it. You know anything about this code? Okay. 
Lovely. We wait for Titer's reply. Though it's only been a few minutes, it feels like an eternity to me. Where did you find that? That's written in a proprietary IBM programming language used prior to 1975. You can only decipher it with an IBM 5100. I quickly open the mail, and its contents are enough to raise goosebumps on my entire body. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑> That retro PC has a certain special function. In fact, for more than 25 years after it went to the market in 1975, nobody knew of it save a few IBM engineers. That function was first brought to light by the John Titer who appeared in 2000. A while after that, after, a while after Titer posted about it, an actual IBM engineer admitted to the hidden function's existence. Which reminds me, I talked to Suzaha about this only yesterday. That's more fishy. Very fishy. A prime example of synchronicity at work. It's almost like an almighty will is pulling the strings. いいな。<笑><笑> Dari quickly catches onto the intent of my question. Titer said himself 10 years ago, but Daru wouldn't believe me, even if, I, even if I told him the truth. I ignored Daru's retort. Myri is sewing, she doesn't get off the sofa. It's important that we stare closely at the monitor and exchange dramatic lines. The atmosphere right now is too light. It's all my Yuri's fault. I might 